Mod Podge and I just glued all my guitar picks down on the table. I laid out the guitar picks how I wanted them before I started gluing, obviously, because with wood glue you can pretty much lift it up and redo it if you need to, but with Mod Podge, once it's on there, it's on there. And as you can see in this picture, I actually went down and I did the edge of it, and that was a mistake. I ended up removing those. So whatever surface you're doing this on, is if you're pouring epoxy on it, you have to have some sort of border. The border is going to be level with the epoxy as soon as it dries. Otherwise, your epoxy is just going to run off and it's going to continue running off. It's not going to have anything to hold it in its place. The thicker you want your epoxy, the more epoxy you're using, the bigger of the border you're going to want. Here, so after we remove the guitar picks, we sanded it down and then we put glue, wood glue on it. And this is actually a very important step because you want to make sure that your table or your surface is completely clean because any sort of dust or hair or anything is going to be stuck in your liquid glass forever and you will see it under there and it will probably drive you crazy. This table has to be perfectly level and this is super glazed. I got it from the Home Depot. I used two boxes of it and it's always better to get more than you need. This table that I did is actually six square feet. I bought two boxes because of the fact that this is only based on one sixteenth thickness. If you take into consideration the guitar picks, the guitar picks alone are at least one sixteenth. So I bought two boxes to make sure epoxy resin is thick enough. will completely cover the guitar pick. So it's really important that you take that into consideration. You would rather have too much epoxy left over than not enough. Basically, we just follow the instructions that are inside of the box, mixing part A with part B, mixing them for three minutes, and then pouring that liquid into another bucket and turning that for th three minutes also. Oh my gosh, you guys, my adrenaline was going so fast and hard. <laughs> I was so nervous and so excited to finally get this table done after talking about it for so long. So here we are just pouring the epoxy on there. And this is actually his first time doing this too. So it was fun. We just poured it on there. And the consistency of this stuff is like honey or like a really thick syrup. So basically all you do now is just make it flush. And like I said before, all you have to do is just take a piece of wood and just run it along. But here we are just squeegeeing it out, making it real, you know, as, as level as we can get it. So that was fun. Um, it was definitely a learning experience. And honestly, up until this point, this is like the easiest part of it. It really is. This is the quickest part. You don't really have a lot of time to work with this. We worked on it for maybe about 20 minutes. And we could kind of tell that it was starting to harden up pretty quickly. When I first started doing this, I was scared to kind of just let it fall off the edges. I didn't want to make a huge mess. Um, and it's very important to put cardboard or something down, wax paper. You do want to make sure that you cover your surface because if this gets on anything, it's going to be ruined. So we put a lot of cardboard down. On the and here's where you can see all the tiny little bubbles. You can see all the imperfections. This is where the magic happens. This is honestly the coolest part of the entire thing. You can just see these bubbles just like disappearing. It's it's the most awesome thing ever. Look at that. Isn't that just awesome? <laughs> so here he's just taking a torch obviously and he's just going along the epoxy and it doesn't say to do this in the instructions but I watched a ton of YouTube videos and um kind of learn that trick so I'm passing it on to you guys and basically this is it this is all you do guys you you let it sit there and um he told me that it was dry within three or four hours but I let it sit there for like three days and here I am just admiring the wet epoxy resin just waiting for it to cure and now you're just gonna see some clips of the end result and I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, I also posted about it on my blog. 